USDA's latest progress report indicates 68% of corn across the country and 79% in Nebraska is rated good to excellent. Both numbers are three points better than a week ago. Some areas of Nebraska received heavy rainfall last month and the state as a whole was above average for precipitation during May as well as the three month period from March through May. To learn about how those larger rain events could have caused problems, we talked this week with Nebraska Extension's Brian Crinky to ask how severe the risk of nitrate leaching was across the state. Well, a few weeks ago when we had a series of heavy rains, it varied by region across the state. Generally in the east, it was a heavier risk. Uh, if we looked at the 30-year average, um, it was excessive when we looked at the eastern part of the state. And so anytime you have more moisture and it comes in a more intense form, uh, form or time, uh, that will generally result in leaching. Any specific, yeah, go ahead. Specific soil types? Uh, soil types that are more at risk are, of course, uh, textured soils like sandy loams. Of course, sand is the most risky. Silt loams are still at risk, even though they're heavier textured. And again, it really depends on a couple of factors. How much N or nitrogen was already applied prior to that point? What form is it in? The nitrate form is what leaches and how much moisture was in the profile beforehand when that rain came and how much rain or moisture pushed it back down. Why does it matter which form it was applied in? The reason it matters what form, nitrate's a negatively charged ion and soil's negatively charged. So those two repel each other and it, it's, it leaches. If you apply, say, anhydrous ammonia, for a time, initially it's as uh, ammonium, which is a positive charge, and it takes a little bit for the microorganisms in the soil to convert that over to nitrate. So, you know, you're less risk if you applied your anhydrous close to planting time, um, but there's still potential for loss there. So what does the farmer need to do? So what a grower needs to do or have their consultant help them accomplish across all the acres is they have to do some type of assessment. Uh, the, the down and dirty way is doing a soil sample and we say take it to four feet. That's quite a ways down and it's not a, it's not a fun thing to do across a lot of acres, I can tell you that for sure. Um, the reason is, is crop roots will, they'll reach down there and grab that by the end of the season. Now it may be temporarily unavailable early on in the season when the crop is at a younger growth stage too. So you have to kind of weigh the cost. You, you need to do it by depth so you know where that end is um, and so when it might be expected to be taken up by the crop. Well, how much does the crop need right now? Crop needs fairly little, depending on the stage, of course. Uh, earlier vegetative stages uh, take very little in per day. In addition to the dirt, down and dirty way of taking the soil tests, that's really what's in your soil. Uh, we really want to, we need to get to a place where, for one, we're not putting this all at risk at the beginning of the season. We need to delay nitrogen application until later when the crop is actively taking up that in. And so uh, if you have the ability to fertigate, it would be a great opportunity to establish some high nitrogen reference strips, say 250 pounds of nitrogen per acre, um, in key spots in the field that you consider representative. And you can use those to reference to the other parts of the field to see, you know, are you deficient? Are you hanging in there in terms of nitrogen deficiency or sufficiency? And then you can, you can deal with that later with either a side dress rig or uh, fertigation. Your preference, though, is, if that possible, wait until later in the season? Yes, our preference is always to wait till later in the season uh, because that's when the crop is really demanding the nitrogen. And so when there's a crop that's early vegetative stages, very little N is being taken up. And so if that's where you're storing your N, as one crop consultant told me, you know, your soil's a really poor place to store nitrogen. And I would completely agree with that, which is push those applications later into the season get by earlier in the season with smaller applications and you can stay ahead doing that. The best way to manage nitrogen is to think about it as risk. Split up that risk as many ways as you can.